I grew up playing here. Didn't know we were going to find each other. Like I said, we'd grown up without ever meeting each other at baseball games twice a week, every week. Mm -hmm. And then there he was. Oh, he's my best friend. He's my best bud. That's what I always tell him. He's, he's my best everything. Words really don't describe how I feel about her. She is um, more than love in my life. It's from the first time I ever took you on a date. <laughs> Just knew you were the one. We got married on September 6th. I truly believe God sent her to me, and I really do appreciate it and feel very blessed. And she's, you know, sort of good looking, so it helps out too. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. He's a good guy. We met at school, and we went on a study abroad trip to Mexico. We were on this little tiny plane, and I was very nervous, and I was on the verge of having an anxiety attack, and he was sitting across the aisle from me, and he looked over, and he asked me if I was okay, and I said, well, not really. And he said, well, you can hold my hand. And he held my hand for the entire flight. I was like, here we go. So I got down on a knee and don't know what I said or <laughs> don't know if I got the ring out or what she said back to me. I don't even remember putting the, the ring on her phone. I knew that photography was important. When I got engaged, I asked my married friends, don't tell me what worked for you, tell me what didn't. And almost all of them said, invest in your photographer, get a good photographer, because you're not gonna remember a lot about what happens because it all happens so quickly, but you need somebody there who can capture it. I have an aunt that does wonderful photography, but I think it was so important to hire a professional due to the fact that that's what she was there to do that day, so she didn't miss out on any, any moments because she was part of the family or because she was a friend trying to help one of us get ready or, you know, to take care of anything else. So I, I definitely think, you know, that you do make a lot of investments planning a wedding, but at the end of the day, the, the pictures are what you have left. And so I definitely think it's the most important that you can make. I think that people who aren't professionals, they, they want to capture those moments and, and they know kind of, kind of what they look like. Oh, they're hugging, let's take a picture of that. But the way someone's hand is placed on your back or the way that your husband brushes your hair out of your face or the way that you're looking at him when you're at the altar, you know, those are the tiny little things that she's looking for that are the things that you want to remember. And so while I think people who aren't professional have such fabulous intentions, I think going with a professional photographer is, is definitely the way to go. Because they are looking for things that, the things that it feels like you can only feel on the inside, she captures in a picture. I think on one of the most important days of your life to kind of risk it on someone who just has good intentions <laughs> and doesn't necessarily have the training or have the eye or have the, the passion for what they're doing. <laughs> it's, it's not a risk I would take.